My traders, this is Alex FX, and I'm trading the beginner strategy on the New Zealand US dollar. This is a daily chart we're looking at, and you can see we've been in a nice down move. Prices hit an area of resistance right over here. You can see this level draw line through here. You see how it's acted as resistance, then it's come through resistance support, broken through support back to resistance. And if we put a line down here, see how prices come down and hit a key level of support. And we've got a level up here. So in a big range on the daily resistance, middle area, and then that area of support. On the four hour chart, see a big down move. The market direction is currently up, but you see that resistance area, nice clean level, how prices acted as support and resistance. And look at the rejection off there. The candle is showing nice selling pressure coming off. 30 minute chart, you see the direction is down. That's the down fractal that's broken. And the changes right over here. So that's where the market direction changes from, down to up. So if we move to the five minute chart, this is where we're looking for a trading opportunity. And see we have this up fractal broken right over there. So we're looking at this most recent down fractal to trigger us in a short trade. And that's where we're looking to enter the market at. So there's the actual working order. That's the sell. So we've just been triggered. Now we've added the spread on top of this fractal. The spread is about three pips on this platform. So quite a uh, quite a steep uh, steep spread. And you see the target down here. We're looking towards this uh, this pivot point. That's the M2 pivot. Currently sitting on the daily central pivot. So we're really looking for a nice close. See that rejection candle. We're looking for a close below this area of support. Here's the working order right there, and pretty much around on that spread. Okay, we need to cover about a three pip spread. So this area is what, what I'm eyeing out at the moment. I want to see a nice close below the level. Okay, watching these candles, and if we get a second candle close, we can get some risk out on the trade. So you see, now that we had that second candle close, we'll get some risk out on the trade. Remember, we still need to add that spread, three pips for a sell. So it, uh, we'll see a bit of a distance. Still looking for a close. I haven't seen any closes below this level yet. Bullish candle action here popping off the support area. So the support area is still holding. We're still seeing uh, bids hit the market. And obviously our stop's just above this fractal. So we really need to see price move back down now. Otherwise uh, we're going to see our stop getting hit here. All right, so now we've had a nice pop. You see that, that next candle reverses that bullish move. And now we're just moving down below this area. So I really want to see a close. This is our take profit down towards M2 pivot. Need to see a candle close. You see that fractal? It's the same as the previous one. So even if we get a close, I'm not going to do anything with the risk. Prices break down nicely. Currently up about four pips or so. And you can see the target down towards an M2. We've added the spread above the the pivot all right so there's a close nice bearish close see the candle there's no wick close below that base that's very good for the the uh, the trade and obviously we're looking for a continuation down now another little bearish candle still grinding lower which is good currently uh, seven pips up at the moment so have a look at the Higher time frames, 15 minute chart, nice bearish candle close below this level. That's very good for the trade. And just have a look on the left hand side. We've got some key areas of interest. These are support levels that the market's going to be watching very closely. So you see how this area is just above the pivot point. And we've got this little level right here that I also want to eye out. Could get a bounce from here, but uh, we'll just wait and see what happens. Need you see a move lower, and obviously I'm watching this area very closely now. So there's the 30 minute chart. That's the key area right there. And see how it's just above that pivot. So I look at taking profit there. And I want to see a 30 minute close below this base. That'll be obviously nice for the trade. And there's the hourly chart. We'll see a nice down trend here. Also broken down fractal. So just using multiple time frame analysis here. Here's the five minute chart once again, and it's moving down. You can see candle action slowed down a little bit here. You see the smaller candles. 
So we see, could see a bit of a retracement back up now into that sort of entry area for a retest of resistance. This is the area here I'm eyeing out to see how we've got that 30 minute level below us and then obviously our tight profits at that next area. So looking now, you see this bullish candle. I don't like the look of this here. It's created a little base here. So we've got this little bearish candle and we've had this bullish candle break out above this base. Now, this area could quite easily hold the support uh, and then use it as, as a move to the upside. What I'm going to look at doing here is maybe take some profits right at this level here in case they use it as support. See this area right here? So we've broken up and we really want to see a close below here. The buyers are going to come in, they'll look at using this little base here to push higher. So I just want to watch this area. I'm probably going to look at taking half the position here now. All right, so I've taken half the position now, just over seven pips. And for the simple reason that I, in case the buyers do come in and use this base as support, at least I've taken some profits off. Now, obviously, we want to see this close. Now, we've just had this five-minute close. That's very good for the trade. And what I'd like to see now is this area here that we've got highlighted. Just adjust this little line here. But I'd like to see this level now hold as a level of resistance. Okay, so here we close below, looking for that area to now hold as resistance. And then obviously this level below us to act as support. So now we just need to watch this very closely. So I want to see some sellers come in now and try and push price lower. All right, so this is not looking too good at the moment. See how this, this bullish candle is closed? back above the support area and now it's breaking up again so if we get a close above the highs here then we likely see this level hold as support and then push up towards that next area above us so you see this bullish close that's not good at all for uh, for the bears and I'm probably see some some buyers use this base now so we really want to see what this area above us does. Here's the 15 minute chart. Nice bullish looking little candle there. And 30 minute chart. You see a bearish close. It's very good for the trade. And here's the hourly. Nice close. See a little spike below us. So mark direction is currently obviously down and looking for renewed selling. I think we'll come in at the support area. Alright, so price is just moving all the way back up, retracing. This is normal for the market to do this. It's coming right back up, and you see this level here. I want to see the sellers come back in at this level. And if we do get some selling pressure here, I want to see. See how we've closed here? That's obviously you want to see some sellers coming here. I don't like the look how we've closed so bullish, but. Let's see what happens. We're right into this area here. You see this, this retracement into resistance. And now I want to see that selling, selling pressure here. However, now we've got this base below us. All right, so here's our selling coming in. Let's see where this closes. It's very important to watch where this candle closes. And what I want to do, you see this, this base down below us. I'm going to take some profits. Nice bearish close here, but I want to take some profits. I'm going to take half of this, so basically a quarter of the full position off at this area here. Because we could quite easily see this area hold a support and then and move back up again. Okay, so price needs to clear for, for the, uh, the sellers to continue down. They need to obviously clear this area of support below us and then close back below this little level that we've marked off. All right, so what I've done now is I've taken off uh, a quarter of a position at this base of support here uh, for about five pips. And now I'm looking for a leg down. So we're either going to see buyers come in here, where we pretty much are now, and move back up, or if we can close below this area, which is obviously what we want to see, we can move down into this base of support. So really just working with what the market's telling me here. 
versus uh, hoping that the market's going to do something. Okay, so you see this area here, we are getting some bids in the market, but it's not looking overly bullish. Nice close below this area, that's what I want to see now. See, we close below that area there, so we could use it as resistance for leg lower, but there's no no bids or buyers hitting the market at this stage, so that's very good for the trade. Here's a 30 minute chart. See how we've, we've had this base come right back, retested it as resistance. Nice bearish candle. See that, that nice wick above us, showing signs of selling pressure. And now, I really want to see if the sellers continue down. You see this up fractal potentially forming. We get a second candle close, now we'll get some risk out of the trade. All right, so there's a take profit. It's just flash green up for us. So we're close to getting paid on this. However, I'm watching this highlighted level on the 30 minute chart. All right, so we've had the second candle close now. So I'm just gonna reduce more risk. So we've still got some risk on the trade, but at least we managed to reduce some risk on this. At least if it comes back on us now, we'll make uh, we'll make a few pips. All right, so this area, this highlighted area is a 30 minute base. And this is where I actually really expect some heavy buyers to come in so I'm going to look at closing my position off in here I just want to see how price reacts if uh, if we start seeing any kind of any kind of price action telling me see how we get in this this little bounce this wick I don't like the signs of, of this wick sort of forming here people are going to be taking profits here and the buyers are definitely going to be stacked around here now we never know what reaction we're going to get from price action around these levels however it is a very key level and you see how price is struggling now the buyers are coming in i'm going to take this off here so uh, that's the trade they've just dragged the trades onto uh, the chart and you can see nice little outcomes there uh, so we really had a sort of three scales on the trade so recap the market direction was down Broke this down fractal, so we're looking for selling opportunities. And then on the five minute chart, we got the trading opportunity with the up fractal broken right there. And then we had a sell order to break below this area. Initial target was uh, on the way down towards that, that M2 pivot. However, we had that key area below us, and I've scaled out as price sort of told me it's likely to, to bounce. So at least we had, uh, you know, we got paid on the way. So overall, nice little profitable trade. We scaled at uh, half at seven, a quarter at five, and the remainder at 13. So an average about eight pips uh, overall. Okay, and you see this base below us. I think we'll see some buyers come in here for a bounce. So I hope you found that helpful. Thank you for watching. I'm Alex FX, and I'll see you next time.